In today's video, I'll be showing you how to fix Counter-Strike Global Offensive from crashing, freezing, or just not working at all. If you're having a lot of issues with this game, then by following the steps that I show you in this video, you will hopefully be playing it again in no time. So the first thing you need to ensure is that you have the latest updates installed for Windows. And to check this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, you then need to select settings and you now need to click on update and security. You now need to click on check for updates and if Windows does detect any new updates, you then need to go ahead and install them. If you do not have any new updates available, but you have recently installed a new update, then you need to remove the latest update that you installed, just in case this update is the cause of CSGO crashing. So to check this, all you need to do is click on View Update History. You will then see the latest update that you have installed. So as you can see here, the last update I installed was on the 17th of the 12th, 21. So to remove this update, all I'd need to do is click on Uninstall Updates. So as you can see, the update is here, installed on 17th, 12th, 21. So I need to select the update and then click on Uninstall. Once I've uninstalled that update, I can then go ahead and launch CSGO and see if I still have the same issue. There were two updates that I installed on that day, so I would actually need to remove both those updates and then see if that resolves the issue. If that didn't fix the problem, then you can then go ahead and check for updates and install those updates again. So once you've done all that, and if it's not the Windows updates that's causing the issues in CSGO, the next thing that you need to do is ensure that you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. I will put the links in the description below where you can grab the driver for your graphics card, whether it be AMD, Intel, or Nvidia. So once you have downloaded the driver for your graphics card, go ahead and install it and then try CSGO and see if that resolved the issue. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting device manager. And if you now expand display adapters, you will then see your graphics card. So as you can see, I have an Nvidia GeForce GTX 1660 Super. I would then need to download the driver for a GTX 1660 Super. So once you have updated your driver for your graphics card, Go ahead and try CSGO and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is ensure that you have closed down all the programs that are currently running on your computer before launching CSGO, as one of these programs might be conflicting with the game. And also ensure that you currently don't have anyone else signed into your computer. You can check this by right clicking on the taskbar, clicking onto task manager, going across to users, and if there is another user signed in, select their user profile and then click on sign out. This will, however, sign them out completely from the computer. So if they do have anything open, they will lose that work. So just make sure with them that they have saved everything before signing them out. So once you've done all that, closed everything down, signed out all the other users on your computer, launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then the next thing you need to do is unplug all the devices apart from your keyboard and mouse that's connected to your computer. So if you have a USB stick plugged in or a webcam, a microphone, speakers, anything like that, you need to unplug it all from the USB ports and then launch the game and see if that fixed the issue. If that still didn't work, then the next thing you need to do is open up Steam. Once you have Steam open, you now need to search for Counter-Strike on your library. You then need to select Counter-Strike and now right click on it. You then need to click onto Properties. And you now need to untick Keep Games Saves in Steam Cloud for Counter-Strike Global Offensive under Steam Cloud. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game and see if that helped. If it didn't, then the next thing you need to do is just ensure you don't have anything within this box under Launch Options. If you do, then completely remove all the commands in this box and then launch the game again and see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, then you now need to click onto Local Files and you then need to click onto Browse. You now need to right click on CSGO.exe and go to Properties. 
you now need to click on compatibility and then you need to tick run this program as an administrator. You now need to press apply and OK and you can now go ahead and launch the game again and hopefully that will resolve all the crashing issues that you're having. If that didn't fix the issues then the next thing you need to do is open up the location of where you've installed Steam. If you're unsure where you installed Steam to then you can open up the start menu and type in Steam. You can then click on open file location and right click on Steam and then click on open file location. You will now be in the directory of where you installed Steam. You now need to scroll to the top and you then need to open up user data folder. You now need to open up your user profile ID folder and you now need to open up the 730 folder and you then need to open up the local folder and you now need to right click on the CFG folder and go rename. You now need to add backup to the end of this folder and press enter. And you can now go ahead and launch the game again and see if that fixes the issue. And this is going to reset all the settings within the game. If that didn't resolve the issue, then you can delete the new CFG folder that gets created and then rename this folder back again. So once you've done all that and if you're still having issues, you need to go back to Steam and you now need to right click on Counter Strike and go to Properties. You then need to select Local Files again and this time we need to click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will now check if any of the game files have become corrupt or missing. If it does detect any issues then Steam will attempt to resolve the problem and once it has finished go ahead and launch the game and hopefully that would have resolved the issues you're facing. If that still didn't work, then the only other thing I can suggest is you try reinstalling Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you want to see more videos on how to resolve issues with games, then hit that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.